Taking a look outside right now, Evan Arani, you've had a difficult job over the past couple of months because you feel like you want to tell us we have sunshine, but you keep giving us clouds, but that's well, okay. Yeah, hey, the clouds have joined us each and every morning virtually. They're uh, our best friends by now. The, I mean, you got to embrace them. Otherwise, you're not going to enjoy May or June in any capacity. But uh, we have each afternoon allowed for at least a bit of sunshine each afternoon. That's the particular stretch along the coast. That's been the most troublesome spot on the map to see even partial clearing. In some cases, those clouds have hung on all day even across your coastline. So as we head through the day today, we're expecting a very similar scene on hand. We start off the morning with a dense marine layer that stretches off toward the western slopes of the mountains and then pulls back really each hour beyond about 8, 9 a.m. Uh, it happens with very slow speed, and that means that it can sometimes take until 1, 2, 3 p.m. for the coastline to even see a little bit of blue out there. But there have been indications that we're moving in that direction, and we've seen that happen each day of the past six weeks or so, even when those clouds are abundant. So today is going to follow a very similar pattern. Clouds join us for the morning. Some models are very generous, and when we see even that partial clearing, but we're not expected to really see much of it until the afternoon in particular. We'll peak right around 68 degrees. Two troughs of low pressure, one exits to our east. You saw that just leave the map here. Second one stays pretty stagnant. So between now and uh, about your weekend, it doesn't have as much of an effect on us. It starts to, to leave us in terms of our height, uh, but we really aren't going to see any significant ridge of high pressure build. You can see one ridge that is way off to our west, another that is essentially off to our southeast, and neither of these are going to have much influence over us. Models are also in disagreement as to how next week will pan out. Some point to one of these ridges starting to really take shape overhead. Others say, one of these cutoff lows will be the centerpiece in two next week. So we're going to keep track of what these models look like. But for now, what we can say with pretty decent confidence is that between now and Saturday, so between your Tuesday and Saturday, we're going to have a slow daily warm up occurring. Slow daily warming, marine layer clouds join us each morning, but will become less dense, so more shallow as we go into the end of the week. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday are three days where we'll have less dense clouds. Cooling briefly to start next week, meaning that by Sunday and Monday, we'll start to see those temperatures decline just a bit. But beyond Sunday and Monday, some models point to a pretty decent warm up. Others keep us in that about average, if not slightly cooler than average range. Today we're cooler than average pretty much across the county, but we have finally regained some normalcy where we're back in the 70s inland. So Ramona, for example, is looking at a high of 75 degrees, 71 for Vista, 68 for Carlsbad, 71 for downtown San Diego, and 69 degrees in Chula Vista. Looking at the eight-day forecast, you can see how between now and Saturday is where we see that warm-up occurring, near 80 degree temperatures inland by Saturday. And then as we get into Sunday, we start that cool down but kind of have a balancing act for uh, the beginning of next week. So by Tuesday of next week, we're back in the low 70s along the coast, mid 70s inland, closer to our normal state. When you look at your mountains and deserts, a pretty similar scene out there. We'll see those temperatures move to about 80 degrees by Saturday. Plenty of sunshine across the mountains and deserts. Even a good, op a good opportunity for those deserts to make it into the triple digits as we head into the rest of your week and early next. Otherwise, resting in the upper 90s out there. Back to you.